A burglary epidemic is hitting a well-known business in Reading. Workers are at their wits' end, and they're all out of ideas. Action News Now reporter Angela Musalem has more details now on what happened in the latest break-in. I am very pissed about this and uh, upset, and it's, it's time to stop. It's the sixth burglary for the Northern Trailer and RV Supply this year. The break-in happened on Victor Avenue in the storage lot sometime overnight. They entered one of the RVs through the unlocked door. The other one, they had to break a window. Several RVs were broken into when items were stolen from inside. We talked to one man who had his RV broken into. They sold both the new flat screen TVs. They sold the GPS. Call it bad luck or just bad timing. We haven't used it in two years, so we were going to start going next month, actually. Yeah, this happens. Yeah, and then this happens. Despite his losses, Lou is taking it all in stride. It's just a little bump in the road. Now the owners, on the other hand, are worried that word of mouth about the rash of burglaries will destroy their business. Even police say they might have to shut down their doors. I wouldn't worry about that happening. We've been here, I've been in this building since 1976. We've been here a long, long time. Reading police tell us the RV supply could use more surveillance and that could help deter more break-ins. Tom says there's only so much he can do to protect his business, but for now, his next step is to equip the RV supply with new security. We have alarms and cameras inside the store, but not outside yet. For Action News Now, I'm Angela Musalem. A Reading police officers collected fingerprints from the scene today. They'll continue to investigate the incident to try to track down the burglars.